everyone. <sighs> Hi everyone. So March 25th is National or International Tolkien Reading Day, um, March 25th because it is the day that Soaring was defeated at Baradur. <laughs> so I thought in celebration of that I would show you guys my Tolkien collection. So I'm gonna start with some of the like paraphernalia and then I'll get to the books. Um, so to start with I have these um, bookends which are from the Desolation of Smog um, special edition. Um, I actually found it really really cheap. I think it was like 20 not even $25 like less than $20 um, and it came with these bookends which as much as I hate the movie I really like these bookends I think they're well constructed um, they're the two dwarven statues that you see in the movie um, so I kind of just I even though I hate the movie and I refuse to rewatch it um, I think I tried rewatching it and I ended up turning it off like 20 minutes in and I was like no can't do it this is not my hobbit um, I do have these bookends so another bookend I have, which I think is from Return of the King. I ended up buying it off of eBay because I just really wanted it. And I was buying it one day. Um, I was with my friend and we were out and I kind of like was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if I won Minas Tirith? And so I placed a bid on um, eBay and we're driving home and I get the notification that I won. I wasn't expecting that. So this is a bookend of Minas Tirith, um, which is quite lovely. It's flat on this side. It does open up. Um, this, the only thing I don't like is this little tower is really wobbly, so I'm always worried it's going to break, but it's got the Tree of Gondor inside, um, and then on the bottom it says, yes, it is from the Return of the King, um, DVD collectible, and it's got, like, all that stuff on the, um, bottom, so it's from Weta. Um, and I don't know, are the Hobbit ones? The Hobbit ones just look like this. These are the only ones I actually liked out of the Hobbit ones, so that's why I got those ones. Um, and then that same friend who I was with for my birthday one year uh, got me the Key to Erebor um, from the Weta workshop. So it's got, uh, you can't really see it because it's in black, but it says Weta um, and it's from The Hobbit. And I actually really like this. This sits in front of my, my box sets. And then the final bit of paraphernalia is just this simple rock. Now, this just looks like a rock, but one of my friends uh, was actually in New Zealand and went to where, like, the national park that they filmed uh, the Mordor scenes in, and she smuggled this out. You're not supposed to take rocks, but she smuggled this home for me, and I absolutely love it. It just sits on my shelf, um, and it is a piece of Mordor, which is fitting, seeing as, you know, Sauron fell on the 25th of March. So now we're going to get into my books. Um, so the first box set I have here is actually the, one of the most recent box sets I've bought and it is this redoing of the original covers. I quite like it. Um, it doesn't have The Hobbit in it, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get it because I own so many copies of The Hobbit. It actually comes with a reading companion and it's got these kind of gilded um, illustrations and lettering around the side. The, the box is quite simple, especially in comparison to my other one. The books themselves, oh, those are heavy. Heavy for me to take out. Um, so this is the reading companion. Um, and it just, these are the original, like it's a, I think it's the 75th anniversary editions, these ones. Um, so it just looks like uh, the original covers. There is the Return of the King. Um, sorry, I'm putting them back in the box behind the camera. So sorry if you can hear that, which is quite, I got these, I don't know. <sighs> I kind of, I pre-ordered them and I meant to cancel the pre-order because I was like, I don't really need multiple copies of Lord of the Rings, like as much as I love them. Um, I also, I think these ones have a fold out map, if I remember correctly, they do. This is one of the things I really like. So they've got this map on the inside, which folds out so you can have it open when you're reading and it doesn't, like it's the whole map. Um, so that's quite nice. But I meant to cancel this pre-order and then I got the dates mixed up and it ended up uh, pre-ordering before I could cancel it and I, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to complain about owning multiple sets of Lord of the Rings. I think all of them have that map. Um, and then that is the Fellowship of the Ring. So this is like, I think this is still available. So if you, if you like these editions, um, you can still get these. My next box set you cannot get these editions anymore. Um, and they actually sell for like thousands of dollars. And these are these beautiful cloth bound editions. And I've shown these before. They have the Tree of Gondor. It does have a copy of The Hobbit. The box is really, really lovely. It's got the Tree of Gondor on the side. 
um, the list of all the works included, and then the Tree of Gondor again. Um, these came out, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull this off camera so I can get them out because they're quite snug in this box. Um, when the first Hobbit movie came out, and they're quite beautiful. I also like that they have like the star on each one to show which one. So this is the Return of the King. It has the Tree of Gondor on it and it is just absolutely beautiful. Um, these do have, I don't know, I think it's the other ones. They have some red text in the other ones, but these ones are just quite lovely. It's got the map on the inside. It doesn't have the fold out map, um, which would be the one downside, but it does have maps on the inside. Um, so that is the two towers, which I think is showing um, Rohan, would be my guess as to what it's depicting, and then the Fellowship of the Ring, which I'm sure is depicting the Shire. Um, and I just really like these editions. They're absolutely beautiful. They've got like a miniature illustration on the back as well. Um, and then the Hobbit, which matches but doesn't quite match as well, um, is this beautiful grey edition. I actually owned this before I got the box set. This came out first. And then when I got the box set, I um, ended up selling my copy because I don't need two exact copies of The Hobbit. So next up, I have the special edition with the, um, oh, what are these things called? The like slip cover of Children of Huron. It's quite dusty. I don't take these off the shelf very much. Um, so this is the Children of Huron. This is when it came out. So it's quite plain. It's just got the one um, symbol on the side and then inside, um, it's a two-tone uh, book, so it's got the, and then it's just got the J.R.R. Tolkien initials on the side. Um, I've read this, but I haven't read this edition, but it's got illustrations for the title cha um, chapters, and it has color illustrations inside. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to, it's hard to wrangle my books, um, and so this is quite lovely. Um, I picked this up a number of years ago. I don't know if this is still available, but it I've had this for ages. Uh, next up is a soft cover Tolkien Tree and Leaf, which includes Mythopoeia and the Homecoming of Beorth North. I'm probably butchering that. Um, I actually picked this up because one of my profs mentioned Mythopoeia um, when I was studying some fantasy lit as a good uh, source, so I've read that, and I think I've read On Fairy Stories as well. What else is included in this? So it's got On Fairy Stories, which I've read, and Mythopoeia, which is a poem, and then Leaf by Niggle, and then The Homecoming of Beor Noth, and um, yeah, so it's it's quite interesting. Um, just I think this one's readily available. It's just like, it's some of his thoughts on fairy stories. Next up, I have my Blu-ray editions of The Lord of the Rings, the extended editions, naturally. Um, they just come in this box set. I think I was given this by an ex for Christmas one year. Obviously, the box set has lasted longer than the relationship. Um, as, as most things do, books always last longer. So you've got um, the map on the inside. I'm not going to take the Blu-rays out because everybody knows what the Blu-rays are. I think they're actually upside down and out of order in there because every so often I'll just periodically watch one. Um, and then I have a softback of The Unfinished Tales. I quite like these softbacks. I think it's quite dusty because it sits on top. Um, and obviously I've got the receipt sticking out. I haven't read this one yet. This is one of the only Tolkien works I haven't read. It's These are also quite cheap. I think it was only like $10.99. Next up is the newest addition to my Tolkien collection, and that is the Tolkien Treasury, which has four works in it, and they're beautiful. Um, I absolutely love these. These are readily available. This, these came out around Christmas time. Um, and it has Rover Dam, Farmer Giles of Ham, uh, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, and Smith of Wood Cotton Mill, I think, or Manor. I can't read the end. Of Wood Cotton Major, sorry. Um, I couldn't read the last little letters there. Um, and they're quite lovely. I'll take them out and show you. So there is Smith of Wood Cotton Major, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil. And they've got um, really nice back illustrations. I haven't read any of these yet, but I will at some point. Um, the far Farmer Giles of Ham, which is quite lovely. And then Rover Dam. Um, you can also buy these individually, but the box set is just absolutely delightful, so why not? And I know in the UK, I know Taylor got them quite cheap at, I think it was a Waterstones or Foils? I'm not sure. 
Um, so next up is this edition of The Hobbit that I own. This is a recreation of my childhood edition, which I also have, which will be coming up next. <coughs> With beautiful illustrations by Michael Haig. I actually got this at a Neil Gaiman book signing um, in New York City when I went to go to New York City with some friends. It's quite plain on the outside, but let me see if I can find some illustrations on the inside. They're absolutely stunning, um, full page color illustrations. Uh, this is the edition that I read when I was growing up. So the actual edition that I read when I was growing up is the softback edition, which I hold on to for sentimental value um, because it's quite, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like there's folded down pages, and like it's all banged up but this is the edition that I read growing up so I have the nice copy and then I also have the banged up copy um which apparently came out for the 50th anniversary of The Hobbit um coming to the end a couple of my DVDs just fell off the edge um I have The Silmarillion uh which is illustrated by Ted Nasmith this is a hardcover edition um I've read The Silmarillion this edition was just pretty and I was at the store and I didn't have a physical copy of the Silmarillion. My receipt's even still in there. Um, it has, what is this? I can tell I haven't opened this up. It's got, ooh, a big fold out map, which I'm not gonna fold out cause it might like wreck, but you can kind of see that. <coughs> which looks like you could use it as a poster. Sorry for the coffee and it's just very dry this time of year. Um, and it's got beautiful full page illustrations as well. And then I also have my final copy of The Hobbit, um, which is this beautiful leather-bound copy, um, which I've had for quite a while. It's quite dusty. Um, it's quite plain on this side, but it's got gilded um, writing on the side. It's got like gilding on the front. You can kind of see the reflection there. And then it's also got the marbled end paper, like edges, um, and it's also illustrated. I don't know if this is still available. I've had this for a number of years. I just really like it. It's just kind of pretty. Um, I picked this up before... Eh, it was after I found my second copy of The Hobbit. So this was my third copy that I had bought. Um, and then I also have the Atlas of Middle-earth, um, which actually is really interesting. It'll go through like battles. Um, it'll show you like journeys and things in the Silmarillion and it's just basically a bunch of maps but it like has text as well. Um, I got this used for $12.99 at BMV one day um, and I absolutely love it. So the last two things are my least two favorite things and I'm gonna reach across because they fell down and they are my Hobbit movies. So I have The Desolation of Smog and An Unexpected Journey. Um, I despise the Hobbit movies. I think that they were really poorly done. I think Peter Jackson really failed in capturing the magic of the Hobbit. So I'm just gonna set those down. I have them because I really enjoyed the first movie. Um, Desolation of Smog. The only reason I got was because I wanted the bookends and I refused to buy the final one. <coughs> it's just, it's a travesty of movie making and adaptation proportions. I was really happy with The Lord of the Rings so I was really hopeful for The Hobbit and it just really let me down. So that is my Tolkien collection for National Tolkien Reading Day. I hope you guys enjoy reading some Tolkien and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!